Hello beautiful people, welcome back. If you want to defeat the best, then you have to become that much skilled to do so. With that being said, skill is mostly visible at close range fights, right? So at close range, usually your hip fire skills comes into play. And if you suck at close range, then just go home. So here I'm gonna give you some important tips, along with the new hip fire sensitivity, which you should not ignore. Also, don't ignore my like button too. Make sure you drop at least one like, just to make me happy. Anyways, so tip 1, decide when to use the hip fire. It is important to know when to use the hip fire technique, and when to use the ADS. You have to use either of those depending on the situation. Well, I personally don't recommend using hip fire in mid-range battles. Because your precision and accuracy reduces significantly in these situations. Depending on the gun you are using, may cause you some more bullet spreads if you hip fire at mid-range fights. It is important to take close range fights while using hip fire only, as it is easy to deal more headshots and lets you dodge as many bullets you want. For example, watch this intense 1v2 fight of mine, where I won it by just hip firing. Tip 2, Hip Fire Mechanics. Well, if you use aim assist, then you need to know that aim assist never lets you aim at the head of your targets. It is simply not made to do that. As connecting headshots using hip fire is just a matter of skills, but accurate body shots is no less than that. If your hip fire is good, but you still miss some shots, then you need to start aiming at the head of your target. Doing this, the aim assist will automatically let you connect your all shots at the chest or lower part of the enemy's body. With this, you will take them out with more ease, without missing much bullets. Also, do not miss to drop a like on this video. What? Tip 3, Sensitivity. Now here comes the main part. Without a proper sensitivity, you can never win any fight, doesn't matter if it's in a close range or long range. But if the sensitivity that you are already using right now, feels comfortable to you, then I strictly recommend you not to change it. So the simple way to fix your hip fire sensitivity, is by analyzing your hands. Like you need to understand how shaky your hands are, depending on the situation. So if we come to the gyroscope sensitivity page, then as you can see that I'm using 400 on my third person no scope. But you should definitely not use this 400% sensitivity if your hands are not stable. So depending on your hand stability and how you play, use the 300% sensitivity on both third and first person no scope. As you can see these comparison of 400 and 300% hip fire, you can see that my 400% hip fire is way too smooth than the 300%. This is because my hands are smooth and I'm using the 400% since years. But if your hands are not stable, then the 400 gyro setting will obviously shake your aim, even if you move it just a little bit. Well, I personally use the 400% is because my hands are pretty stable and I play on a gaming chair which is a handstand. And because of the handstand, I put my both elbows on it, and that is why my arm stays stable every time I do close combats. Dropping likes on my videos also makes your hands stable, so just do it. You mother Anyways, tip 4, final sensitivity. Before you have the sensitivity, you need to know that the attachments you use in your weapon is also equally important as having the right sensitivity. Because the attachments decides how much bullet spreads you will face while firing. Also the type of weapon you are using, that matters too. SMG weapons has the lesser bullet spreads, and the 7.62 rifles has the highest bullet spreads. Anyways, now to set the perfect hip fire sensitivity, you don't need to change your entire sensitivity. You just need to focus on the camera TPP and FPP no scope sensi of the gyroscope. And if you are a non-gyroscope player, then just come to your camera sensitivity and keep the third person no scope to somewhere between 120 to 150, depending on your personal comfort. 
I personally use the 140 setting because I feel good with this one. And for the first person no scope, you can keep it 110. And remember, do not use more than 300 if you are a gyro player. Because the 300 will give you the accurate hip fire, no matter in which device you play. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up for the tips, thank you so much for watching. Do leave a like and most importantly, subscribe the channel if you are still a new. What the f Anyways, now watch my potato gameplay, peace. <laughs>